What's poppin' everyone? I'm Don Ferguson and welcome to a very special edition of something new here in the Teak Life Cantina Bar. Why is this episode so special? Because we are trying something. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. It's like Christmas early, but it is a limited release. Boom. Look at that. There is tequila in here. No, it's it's not like the box wines, trust me. It's nothing like the Franzias of the world. This is something incredibly special. And if you are a subscriber to the Teak Life YouTube channel, you have seen Grand Mayan on our platform before. Right, enough of the shenanigans. What are we trying today from Nam 1459 Grand Mayan Ultra Aged? limited edition look at that isn't that amazing it's like an advent calendar you know do they have a liquor advent calendar they should now as it says here on the back this is a very special tequila and we are just going to go into the unboxing look at that it's magnetic isn't that cool come on people that's pretty fucking cool grand reveal look my youtube channel is going to make millions and millions of dollars because i'm unboxing toys well these are toys for me and i referenced that little kid that little fucker that makes like millions and millions of dollars because he just plays with toys all day these are like my toys but look we're gonna look at it's like it's on it's like vanna white i'm spinning it look at that pat sajak she's spinning you know how she spins people don't understand but this I mean Grand Mayenne always brings it they are always exceptional in their presentation but it's not about the cardboard box it has magnets though look at that it's magnets bottle it's about this bottle people this is just absolutely gorgeous now this is one I don't keep a lot of bottles. Just, you know, we get bottles here all the time. We're, we've been popping bottles since we were two on this. Well, okay, that's a whole other conversation. But this is completely, look at this. It's just absolutely gorgeous, hand painted. This is a ceramic decanter, uh, ceramic even on top. And now some of the things that like doing my research here, a lot of people have talked about these Grand Mayan bottles, which are absolutely phenomenal, but sometimes the cork just doesn't fit right. It's a little uneven. Maybe it doesn't hold all the juice in. I think we should make, we should do a test, don't you think? We're gonna do the cork test. Why is it important? Well, tequila can evaporate over time. It, you know, and I'm not talking about you're gonna go back a month later and the bottle's gonna, you know, the liquid's gonna be down to here, but it can lose some of its character over time if the seal is not good. So this is a very expensive bottle of tequila. It's a limited edition, so let's test it. Look at that, I'm protecting it, yes. Ah, uh, no drippage not dripping at all. So this is a tight seal. So I don't know what those people were talking about, man. You better get your life together. Out comes the Teak Life Signature Tasting Flute. And because it's an ultra aged, extra aged for you people that don't understand what ultra age means, we are going to pour, look at this. Oh, it's like at a fancy French restaurant. Oh boy, I did it again. Oops, Brittany. Look at that pour, it's beautiful. Now we're pouring it to, to breathe, to let it open up. So all of those tasting and aroma characteristics just start oozing out. And I can tell you right now, because I don't have COVID, I can smell it. It's all in the air. It is like one of those beautiful clouds just lingering over me. I am picking up some, well, I, I can't get ahead of myself. Talk about the juice really quick while we open this up. It's a Highland Agave Tequila. It is slow cooked in brick and stone ovens. No autoclaves used as far as I know. So this is a slow roast here. So we should get a lot of sweetness out of it. It has a slow fermentation process. Now I don't know what that does for tequila. I know what it does for other spirits, specifically beer. It produces a higher alcohol content but this is 80 proof. So 
It's not a higher alcohol content. It's twice distilled using copper pot distillation techniques. Color, oh my goodness, it is radiating. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. I hope you can pick that up there in the light, but it's like a, a rich, like light mahogany color. It's like, you know, like coffee with some cream. You know, I, I don't drink coffee, so I'm just kind of taking a stab at that. But it is really, really beautiful. It radiates, it shines. It is just absolutely fantastic. It has such a nice, robust hue to it. Almost like, man, it's got like a little tint of red. So it's like a cherry-esque quality. Now I'm picking up, now when I do this, like what I'm really trying to do is coat the, the inner of the glass so I can see the legs trickling down. And they are just like a nice, oh my God, like just a very, very nice slow cascade down. It is, wow, now it's coming down a little bit. These tiers are nice. So what does that mean? I don't know. It just sounds really good, doesn't it? Let's take a couple sniffs. We're just gonna toot a couple. Man, oh wow, yeah. I'm picking up that cooked. Wow, that cooked agave is really shining through, even though this is an ultra aged. It's pretty rare. Sometimes they oak the shit out of these, meaning they barrel them for so long that you just really don't get the qualities. I'm picking up a nice chocolate, like a dark semi-sweet chocolate. Some, some, a little bit of wood tone. So we'll, we'll get into tasting what type of barrels they're using, but I can really pick them up. Some slightly roasted or toasted barrels are coming off. It's got a nice sweet vanilla. There is really a lot going on in here. It's pretty damn complex. So far, I'm really digging it. Some toffees coming through. What I'm not getting is those strong alcohol vapors. And that's really what you, what you don't want. You, you don't want to put this up to your nose to drink. And then when you go to take a sip, it's like, bam, those alcohol vapors just jump out like they're the shadow, you know, that, that comic book character. I think it's a comic book character. I might just be making shit up. But wow, nice sweet vanilla, some chocolate, toffee, that semi-sweet chocolate, some sweet like nuttiness to it. So like caramelized nuts getting out of those barrels. We're gonna talk about nuts in a minute. Not, not my nuts, but nuts in general. Yeah, this is, this is really good. So, you know, I've been waiting to try this one. This is a very, very rare occasion to get a limited edition. Now, you might not be able to find this. This is not everywhere, but on the bottom of the barrels, oh, it is numbered. So this is number 002. 608, all right, yeah. You thought I had like the second bottle. No, I was just trying to you know, the suspense. Let's take taste one and then we're gonna get into the barrels and how long it's aged. Oh no. Oh shit. <laughs> oh man. So there's a lot of people out there, you know, when they drink, one word comes to mind. Oh, that's really smooth. And damn it, I really try not to use that word that much, but wow. There is really no bite. There's just a little hint of, of pepper on the back end and it's so tiny, it, it, it is outrageous. I am picking up a lot of notes just off the first. Now, every time you take a first sip of anything, you coat that palette because all the, you know, when you do number two, number three, number 85, it's gonna really open up in your mouth. So this is ultra age for a minimum of five years in American oak barrels and French ex-cognac barrels. So French ex-cognac barrels, they're gonna give you a little bit of sweetness. That's where some of that, that sweetness is going to come from and they only toast from what I've, what I understand, what I've read, I've done my research here. I do it for you so you can you know, know a little bit when you go to the, the $2 bar and, and order some Hennessy that it is most of your cognacs are in toasted barrels. They're aged in toasted barrels. So this is anything over three years is defined as ultra age. That came about, I think in like 2006 where they, they created this rule. So this one though, like I said, it is aged 
a minimum of five years. So let's go in for number two. Oh man. So you're getting that sweet roasted agave. That agave is ju jumping out. I'm getting just a hint of vegetal notes. Now it is an aged tequila, so a Blanco, you're gonna get more of those vegetal notes, some more floral, but I'm getting some dark chocolate. It's very silky, it's creamy. So it really coats your mouth um, and, and you just absorb it. I mean, it's just, it is a smooth, so slow. Wow, I'm just getting ahead of myself. Smooth, slow sipper. Man, that's like a tongue twister, especially when you've been drinking all day. Anyway, back to it. I'm getting some vanilla, almost like vanilla cream. And there are those bourbon creams out there on the market. And this is kind of reminiscent of that. Not like a marshmallow, but it's like more of a vanilla cream. But I got more to talk about. Let's go in for Poix, French oak. Mm. That's pretty outrageous. I mean, it is just so palatable. It's so silky smooth, like really no pepper. And a lot of these, um, you know, a lot of people that are just getting into tequilas, they want something smooth. Then they can, you know, go backwards and get into a little bit of the pepper, which is almost sometimes the true essence of tequila. But this is something, I don't know the price point, but I think it's pretty hefty. But this is something that if you're breaking into tequila and you get like just a little tiny pour like that of this Grand Mayan Ultra Age Limited Edition, you are blessed, my friend, because there's some nice toffee in there. Like I said, that vanilla, it's almost like a creme brulee where it's caramelized. Those French barrels are actually shining through. This is just incredibly smooth. And all right, number four. That was a pretty healthy pour for a very expensive tequila and I'm almost completely done. So, is it Teak Life approved? Bam! Look at those special effects. Steven Spielberg, he ain't got shit on the Teak Life platform. And now when it comes to buy or not, nah, this is where it gets kind of tricky because this is a pricey, supreme, premium, extra special tequila and yeah i would buy this i would absolutely buy this i love everything when it comes to grand mayan i think they do a phenomenal job if you have not tried them and i know there are other you know ceramic decanter tequilas out there on the market that are hand painted that might get a little bit more attention I'm not naming any names. They just might not be in the same class A as Grand Mayan, but this is phenomenal. I'm telling you right now, if you get a chance to try any of the Grand Mayan products, they're just superb. Well, my glass is down to the done done because it was so amazing. Look, look, you just, before we close it out, you just gotta, look, we're gonna do the Vanna White again. You gotta look at this hand painted this is just exceptional. Now, what can you do with this bottle? Put some flowers in it, some daisies. Wouldn't that be a cool vase? Like what else? You know, if you're out in the desert, you wanna put it in a holster, you can put water in it, it's a canteen. It's endless possibilities. If you wanna see what's coming up on future episodes of something new here in the Teak Life Cantina Bar, be sure to follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We always show what's coming up on future episodes. If you want to drop us a line and be on the tasting table or look, look at all these back here. Like I got like 4,000 episodes to record. Use that email, reach out to us. Life's too short to drink bad liquor. Choose wisely. I do not drink. Oh my God. Should I go for another? Yeah, I should. We'll see you on the next episode. Cheers.